Sizable is a wonderfully simple puzzler with a variety of bite-sized worlds to explore and dissect, all backed with an excellent soundtrack and sounds of nature. Hey guys, it's Cody with Indie Game Pulse, let's get right into it. Sizable is a simple game made up of 21 separate diorama worlds, ranging from a simple outdoor scene to a mini golf course, my personal favorite, and even a time machine. In these scenes, you must manipulate the size of and move different objects around in order to find hidden stone pillars. You'll need to find three of these in each scene in order to advance to the next, and there's also a cute little turtle hidden in each scene as well as a bonus objective. He's usually decorated with something festive in accordance with the current landscape too, so that's a nice touch. I like turtles! The individual items in the scene that need to be resized or moved aren't always immediately apparent, and may not be directly in the scene at the start too, needing you to trigger another action to bring it into view. Some of the mechanics here are really thoughtful and unique, like growing the size of clouds to produce more wind, and resizing windmills to produce more energy. Each scene or level took me no more than 10 minutes apiece, with most taking less than 5 minutes. There were a few levels, however, that had me really stumped, but once I got past it I did feel pretty accomplished, or rather just maybe dumb for not seeing the answer clearly in the first place. The small scenes are a nice break from other puzzlers, where you have large expanses to explore and find objects, and in Sizable, if you ever feel lost or unsure of where to check, you can scan your mouse over the entire scene in a matter of seconds. There is also a full scene reset button so you can start fresh, something I did use a couple times just to give my brain a chance to reconnect. Once you've completed the full 21 levels and collected all 21 turtles, you can then proceed to unlock and solve four bonus dioramas. I'll actually say that, in my opinion, these bonus levels actually count for two puzzles each since you first have to figure out how to unlock the scene, and then you can find all the hidden objects in it per usual. In all, the 21 levels and 4 bonus levels took me an hour and a half to complete. There is a note at the end of the credits too, which hints at future content updates or additional levels, so I reached out to the developer to see if he could give me any hints as to what might be coming down the pipeline. He said that the plan is to release multiple updates with new scenes in the future, the first of which should be a Wonders of the World theme, so you can look forward to playing those as well. The art style here is simple, and it's certainly nothing I haven't seen before, but I rather enjoy the low poly aesthetic, and the disjointed, bite sized scenes were a nice twist on the puzzle genre from what I'm used to. Artistically speaking, overall the game is pretty similar to Down in Bermuda, or even Elba A Wildlife Adventure, two other games that I rather enjoyed, so it's not surprising that I like the look here as well. The petite landscapes are accompanied well with a light and calm piano soundtrack, often including natural sounds like wind blowing and birds chirping. I found the soundtrack to actually be one of the strongest aspects of the game, and it is available from the composer Jamal Green on Spotify and YouTube, among other locations. I'll leave those links below so you guys can have a listen too. If you want to keep finding the newest and best indie games and hear genuine reviews from an indie game fanatic like yourself, click the subscribe button and notification bell to make sure you don't miss another video. So the question is, should you play Sizable? I recommend it. While Sizable does not use new or unique artistic styles, it utilizes a unique design with the dioramas that I have not experienced before. It made me personally feel more relaxed in my playtime, not having to stress too much about missing tiny objects in large expanses. The launch price is right around $12, and I have to say I think that's a bit steep. I don't usually like to comment on price because if you really enjoy a game it can be priceless, but for a game that took me around an hour and a half to complete 100%, I think the price isn't quite warranted. However, the mechanic of manipulating objects to different sizes was very well done, and the gameplay experience was light and fun, so I hope you're able to make just a more informed decision about Sizable. That's going to do it guys, thank you very much to my 440 subscribers for your support and I look forward to getting to know more of you soon. For more top indie game countdowns and reviews, check out the videos on your screen now, and I'll see you on the other side.